at the Sun Bowl in El Paso in a thriller. Oklahoma knocks off uh, the Cardinal, number 21 in the country, 31 to 27. Craig Bowlerjack with Steve Berline. We saw a little bit of everything today, Steve. We saw great touchdowns, some great defense, some big penalties, and some big hits. It was uh, a very fun game to do, very fun game to watch. Both these teams came ready to play. There's no doubt about it. It was a, an exciting game. If you're a Stanford fan, you like what Toby Gerhardt did. He came out, scored two first-half touchdowns, breaking tackles, smelling that goal line like he does better than anybody in the country. It was a productive first half for Stanford, but second half was all Oklahoma. And the guy that was making plays all day for him, and he did it consistently through the air. The game MVP, Ryan Broyles, 13 catches, 156 yards, and three, count them, three touchdowns for this sophomore. What a great, great day he had. Landry Jones, a lot of confidence going to him. Spectacular for him to come out and play the way he did. And you look at the key players, Steve, in this game. Jones was outstanding directing this Oklahoma offense with 418 yards. Broyles, as you mentioned, with the three touchdowns. Pritchard struggled with a couple of picks, 117 yards, and Gerhardt did what he could. I mean, he had the two first half touchdowns, 135 yards on the ground. I think the biggest factor today in the ball game was the fact that Stanford was playing without their redshirt freshman quarterback, Andrew Luck. They could not make any plays in the passing game, and that really, really hurt the Stanford offense. They're really explosive normally when they've got the nice balance mixed between the run and the pass. They did not have it today at all. And, and uh, real quick, Oklahoma, of course, building now after the injury-plagued season, and good things ahead for the Stanford Cardinal. No doubt. Both of these teams, I think, heading in the right direction. Stanford disappointed with a loss, but a good positive year for them. Oklahoma, a lot to look forward to. A good young football football team a win today springboards them into 2010 excited Oklahoma the winner today 31 27 that's the story from El Paso